Welcome, everyone. It is November the 3rd today, and uh, just wanted to, to say hi, continuing my quest to do 365 days of YouTube live and learning how to uh, to tell stories. Been uh, been really excited. Been taking a couple courses lately. One of the uh, courses that I'm taking is Click Funnels, um, in the uh, One Funnel Away Challenge right now. And uh, really excited. Love stuff that I'm learning there. Um, happy to share some of the stuff that I'm I'm learning with you guys right now. For those of you who uh, haven't met me before, my name is Peter Ogilvy. I am. Uh, a former Canadian Olympian in track and field. I have been in the uh, sports arena for pretty much my whole life, over 25 years, looking at making the transition from an athlete to coach, sports administrator, and I've been very successful in the last little bit in doing some major events. So I'm really excited to kind of walk I'm developing um, some new initiative right now um, on the back of uh, event management and coming up with uh, an exciting book that I'm working on right now, which is really refining an approach to help uh, event management professionals, event uh, conference professionals, uh, to find ways to get people to come to their events. So it's all about attracting the spectators and getting them there, guaranteed ways of, of being successful. A little bit of background on myself. Um, why am I doing this? Obviously, uh, you know, that's a million dollar question. Two years ago, I had, uh, I had an unfortunate cir circumstance where I came down with cancer, throat and neck cancer. So it really was uh, a tough time for me. Um, I went and uh, had to sacrifice a lot, um, you know, over the course of the better part of uh, the year of 2017, being diagnosed with something like this is, is pretty traumatic. And as a as an athlete, you try to pride yourself on pushing through and getting through it and being headstrong. But let me tell you, I've never been so afraid in my life. Uh, my health failed me. I lost 70 pounds. Um, yeah, I was just withering away. The radiation chemotherapy was just absolutely brutal. So my heart goes out to all those people that have had to, to deal with this this terrible disease, and I know what it's like. Um, and it's part of the reason why, you know, I was pushing through and trying to be headstrong and say I can do it. And even though my, my mental training that I had when I was an athlete, but let me tell you, it was absolutely brutal trying to live each day uh, one glass of water at a time, just trying to... Uh, remember, you know, you got to live life to its fullest and, you know, I, and having a young family, um, you know, making sure that I can see my boy live to grow up, spending time with my wife. Those are the, the precious moments that I had. And it really gave me an aha moment that, uh, you know, I've done a lot. I've accomplished a lot. And I'm very proud of what I've done. And, and now this is my way of giving back into an area that I'm so passionate about. I love sports, uh, all sports. Um, as an Olympian, I love the Olympic movement and what it stands for. And I know everybody who, who's in there gives blood, sweat, and tears for it. So it's my way to kind of give back. And as I was thinking, you know, you know I've been doing events for, for a long period of time. And... Uh, I, to see them grow and do well, one of the things that always came back was, why can't we get people to come watch the events? And it doesn't take much. If you just look out in the news right now, you watch professional sports barely filling stadiums. Local events, barely getting people to come out, whether it's a festival, a uh, theater production, a sports event, or even just a an open house. Like, why are we not getting people to come in? We know there's certain challenges with the economy, but uh, that's what my book's all about. I can't wait to, to share it with you guys. Um, a bit of a paradigm shift in the way that we get people there. And it's a conversation that we need to have. We need to start thinking outside the box. And i uh, really excited to share with you. So not to let the cat out of the bag. There are some strategies that are, you know, they are different. And we need to start thinking different. We can't keep on going back to the, uh, the same old idea of, um, you know, leveraging our social media presence and hiring a marketing manager, a revenue sales generating manager. 
we need to do more than that. We need to think outside the box. So really happy to to share this with us. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we all want to be successful, and uh, it is a highly volatile marketplace. We know that, and you know. With the strategies, I think this is going to be a great learning uh, opportunity for everybody. Happy to share my story. Um, you know, it's November the third today, and uh, you know, it's it's time is ticking away here. Winter is coming. In fact, today I even put up my Christmas lights on my house. I know. Some people don't want to hear that, but I live in Edmonton. Um, so anyways, I'm really glad to share this with you as I kind of perfect what I'm doing here, sharing my story. Love to, to hear more about you. So when you have a moment, hit the subscribe button, send me an email, send me a link. Love to hear from you. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you. And stay tuned for episode five coming up tomorrow. I'm going to Toronto and uh, looking forward to talking to you from there. Bye for now, everybody.